top of the morning to you. This is Brian at BrianSime.com. What a beautiful time of year. It is April 10th and first quarter is over and done. One of the things I do at that time of year is a quarterly review. I hate to say quarterly, but it's kind of a section review. Um, I kind of look back over the last um, 12 week year sort of Thing and look at what went well, what didn't go well. Um, if you didn't see my annual review, I'll put a link right up here and you can head over and register and get that annual review. It's kind of an exercise to go through your thoughts, patterns. It doesn't need to be an annual review. Uh, if you haven't done it, start with it. Um, just go through, think about yourself, where you're at, where you're headed, what you're doing, and what you're up to. Um, one of the other things I'm doing right now, and kind of inspired by my reading, kind of inspired by my direction, my drive, my focus on where I'm going, is I'm asking the question, why? I actually started with what, and I'm dr d drilling into that. What do you want? And I'm kind of getting three what's, and taking those three what's, what do I want? Like big pie in the sky. Um, what do I want? What would be totally outstanding? Um, BHAG, one of my friends called it, a big, hairy, audacious, be, ha, big, hairy, audacious goal. BHAG. What's, what's the BHAG right now for you? What do you want? And I'm putting those three at the top. And then below those, or with each of those, I go, well, why do I want that? Well, I want it because of this. Okay, why, how, how, why, why because of this? Well, because this. And wh wh why is that important to me? Or, and then I just kind of drill down each of those columns, trying to ask why as many times with as much space and time to dig in and drill down, um, hopefully getting to something emotional. If you have someone talented um, to do this with, it can be a lot of fun um, drilling into it. Someone you trust immensely, someone that um, is smart like you, knows you a little bit. They don't have to necessarily, um, but someone that you trust, because it can get personal. It can get down and deep into, like Shrek says, peeling the onion open and looking at why you really want that thing. Where does this drill down to? Um, one of the guys I follow, Dean Graziosi, calls it the seven levels deep. Taking that thing and going seven levels deep with the why to dig into why do you really want it. And if we can get and a lot of times the three columns that I'm using, you can use two, three, five, maybe you have a bunch. But as you, as I do this, I find they kind of center down into one core why. Um, so I'm working through that again right now. Actually, I'm, I've done it a few times and I just haven't quite got there. It's like, I can do it with you. I can help you get through and get to your why. But as I do it, I get stuck or I don't set free or something's missing. So I'm praying, um, pray for me, um, please, that I get to that core inner why. Because once we get that real why, a lot of things happen. A lot of things open up for us. Um, Simon Sinek has a famous um, YouTube doobly-doo that... Uh, talks about begin with why. He wrote a book, Start With Why. Uh, a lot of the great companies talk about why they do something and then how they do it and then what, or maybe it's what and how. Um, and the why is what pulls us in. Why is what connects us to our efforts. Um, if, if you get down to your deep core why, and they're connected to these what's and the what's might change when you get down there you might realize oh from this why to get this why done there may be a better path there may be a better what on the outer outer surface 
but getting down to that core why through the what's and the how's to the why's um, just gives you clarity and it also gives you that connection if you're connected to that why um, you're connected to the what the big BHAG the big hairy audacious goal that you're seeking after because if, if you if, why why should I get up in the morning why should I do that why should I do that if, if the why is weak like that you're gonna be normal um, the world is designed the schools are designed for factory workers for um, stuff and it, just kind of the normal the routine schools are structured and you wait in line and you do all this stuff and there's there's important skills in there and there's important components of social um, behavior and learnings and stuff but a lot of it's structured for get a job um, do we need people to have jobs maybe you're a person who wants a job but uh, if there's a why a bigger why um, that you can I know there's a why out there that can provide abundance for you in your life and finding that why oh I'm just imagining it I'm just visualizing um, having my deepest why revealed to me in the next few days here as I go through now next week because I'm we're going on a retreat next week uh, I hope to have that why plotted out and then my next 12 week year as I look at my direction in life and where I'm going so for you uh, follow me follow this path and get into your why figure out what you want really big stuff what do you want what would what would turn your world upside down in a good way because I bet oh that's a big bird that was really cool I don't know if it was a crane or what there's too many trees in the way um, but uh, drill down find your big what's drill down to find the real why and check if there's alignment between that real why and your what's and if there is that's awesome connect that and repeat that and and review it and come back to it every day get that why statement up on your mirror in your bathroom um, and your goal up on your mirror in your bathroom so they stay connected so many times we start heading somewhere and it's like oh it's just so far oh it's just too hard and that's a weak why but if you get a strong why up there a strong dream a strong vision and you can reconnect it and reconnect it to little pieces along the way you're going to achieve more than you ever believe possible and you're gonna live a better life and through that you're gonna make a bigger impact on the world my name is Brian you be blessed <laughs>